Nikola has been facing a lot of drama as allegations swirl here from short seller Hindenburg Research about how it may have misled investors. And now the SEC is taking a look into that, according to Bloomberg News. We want to bring on Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan for more details here against all the allegations that Nikola is facing. Alexis. All of them. Too many for us to mention right here. But short seller Hindenburg is back today with this rebuttal, rejecting rejecting really Nikola's explanation as to why its early promotional video, that's the one showing the Model 1 prototype, why that semi-truck was rolling down a hill in that video rather than on its own propulsion. Hindenburg also rejected the founder Trevor Milton's representations about the extent of the company's hydrogen fuel network and said that the company failed to answer 43 of 53 questions that Hindenburg posed and thinks that investors should have answers to. Now, on its website, Hindenburg said specifically, uh, accusing Nikola of securities fraud, it said, given the public statements Nikola was making at the time, we view the company's new admission that Nikola 1 was not powered on its own in the video as a tacit admission of securities fraud. Also, Hindenburg writing that as acknowledged by the company's statement Monday, it has no hydrogen network and simply hopes to have one in the future. This once again uh, strikes us as tacit admission of securities fraud. Now, we are still waiting for Nikola's response. We have asked in an earlier statement, though the company said it never said its its truck in that video was driving under its own propulsion uh, and that the truck was designed, though, to do just that. We also asked Nikola to what extent its investors were really informed of the truck in that early in, that in that early video and its ability to run on its own propulsion. And it pointed to Bosch as one of its main investors at that time, saying that they knew of the technical capabilities, though as to whether or not the rest of the investors at that time shared that same knowledge, that still remains a bit murky. And we're trying to find out from Nikola if everybody had that same information, though Nikola has said it's. Uh, informed through its lawyers, the SEC, uh, the matter, and uh, looks forward to the agency looking into things here, Zach. Yeah, and that's kind of the interesting part here, too, when we think about it, because they submitted, Nikola did its own response to the SEC and said that it wanted the SEC to look into this. So, I mean, I'm not sure if that helps their case here by being proactive and, and reaching out to the SEC. In your experience, I mean, it does seem like this tit for tat is going to go back before or back and forth between Nikola and the short seller here in Hindenburg Research until the SEC uh, makes its own decision. Yeah, you know, and they're walking on maybe a bit of thin ice by presenting it to the SEC. Perhaps they feel that they have a very strong case and that they have not misled investors to any extent. So we'll have to see how things shake out. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, maybe in, sometimes parties deal with this on their own before raising it to the level of the SEC, uh, because Bloomberg has noted that the SEC is looking into this matter. Um, and now, you know, both parties are really going to have to face the music. I mean, when we talk about the moves in the stock down uh, 6% since before they revealed that move by GM, a multi-billion dollar investment by GM here to help produce their electric truck. It's as if that news never even came out when you look at the stock now down 6% since before that was out. But uh, Alexis, this is why because it's so important to see how the SEC rules here. But Alexis Keenan, appreciate you bringing us that on the Nikola front. The drama continues, folks. 